Hey everyone, this is Bo from IGN. I'm here checking out a bunch of really cool stuff from Dell and Alienware that they'll be showing off at CES 2020. Let's check it out. Hey, this is Bo with IGN. I'm here with Preet from Dell's Experience Innovation Group. Tell us about the Alienware UFO. So this is a concept that we have created for our customers listening to their feedback. They told us that they want to take their assets that are in their stationary gaming systems, like our Alienware Aurora or M51, and take it on the go. So we've crafted here a concept that allows us to create a full PC, but it's a gaming first experience. In, and uh, what it does is it has ergonomics of a real uh, PC, and a, but a, a console gamer as well, so you can take it with you on the go. So at this point, what we're trying to do is <clears throat> first make sure that games play without with that experience where there's no lag and it's got the reasonable frame rate and, and all those features that we have we want from a gaming you know PC uh, the next step is to <clears throat> figure out the how much time can you run this game on at right so we're gathering feedback from that end we're looking at the uh, landscape of uh, takeaway consoles as well and understand and ask our customers and and your uh, readers as well what is the right uh, sizing we need to give to these concepts. And then last but not least comes the ergonomics of it, the weight, the feel, the uh, controls themselves. So we, we're at an iteration where we have, I think, you know, quite uh, reasonable uh, power and performance. We would want you to experience what that speed is and then we can we gather feedback about how much, how long should that experience last. Cool. Make sense? Cool. Uh, when you say how long should that experience last, uh, what do you mean by that? So, fair. Um, when we like go on a trip, let's say your subway commute is X, X minutes long or your airplane ride is that much long, how long do you think customers should have to have this experience last? And should it be dial up, dial down? Is there experiences where you can live with the dial down performance for a longer battery life, for example? So really it's battery life that you're talking about? Absolutely, yeah, sure. So power to performance calibration. In addition to battery life, what are the other big roadblocks for putting PC level power into a handheld like this? Um, obviously the uh, thermals are important. So where do you want to dial up performance and how do you manage the thermal load workload? Um, added to that, the battery impacts everything in that sense. Uh, the other additional thing is the ergonomics uh, of the system as well, the weight, right? So uh, we've tuned the weight uh, at this point to a certain level, uh, but we want to understand, can we make trade-offs in one of these areas in order to achieve the other, right? So do we want more battery life for more weight, for example? Uh, the ergonomics themselves, uh, we've just looked at a lot of ergonomics and roadblocks from a Dell perspective, we are not really handheld controller makers. So we did a lot of research and we're still dialing in the ergonomics and, and that's another area where we use these concepts to conduct research and get feedback. I want to show you that this is just actually a PC and it's just a docked PC in this case, just like you would have your Latitude or Inspiron that you would dock to a Dell dock. And then um, if he, in this particular instance, we are running our games through a stream launcher. One of the best games that uh, showcases the experience in this situation is uh, Formula One 2019. The ergonomics of this are such that, okay, we are able to hold this and it has all of the uh, tactile functions um, you would expect from a controller, the rumble and the, those things. And then we have our little Alienware light sauce here, obviously, which kind of lights up when you go off the track or off the grid. The other thing is, well, let's say you're, you know, this is a little tad uh, too much for you to hold on an airplane and play for four hours. Let's say you're, on a, you know, across the country trip. You also have the ability and a built-in stand that uh, allows you to prop it up, detach the controllers, right, and bridge it to a more handy device that you that mimics a game controller as you would use with a console. Very cool. So it's really taking a lot of cues from the Switch here. It is. It is. Um, but the most important fact is this is a PC as well. So you're not constrained by a closed ecosystem. So the, the important thing with this is uh, twofold. First and foremost, it's a complete PC. So it does not preclude you from using your PC, uh, it from being used as a PC that you would do with any other normal 
computer that you buy. So you can do all of your productivity, creativity, and, and other stuff where people, Alienware uh, customers also use a lot of our systems for creative work. So all of that is possible, number one. Number two is, it's not a closed system by being a PC. In other words, it gives you the full-fledged functionality of connectivity, consumption, productivity, connecting to a, a Type-C dock, all of that is possible. The next thing is gaming-wise, PC still remain the pinnacle of gaming uh, from a performance standpoint. And being a Alienware and the fact that we're dialing in the performance to be a full gaming PC first experience, it is not compromised by a closed ecosystem and you can take your asset library from your stationary system to on the go with, uh, with seamless and not have to pay twice, thrice, that kind of stuff. So that, those are the kind of key main differences uh, if you want to call out the switch.